Now, I'm going to be tying this fly here. Now basically what this is is a, a comparison with a hackle wound through the deer hair. Um, a friend of mine loves these flies. I mean, uh, they're great, it's a great pattern, it's a great style. And uh, there's a there's a grey version which it ties a lot, and this is a which I call a golden olive version. That's it's a good when the sun's shining. I like uh, sorry when the sun's away. I'll use the grey colour, but when the sun's shining, I like to use this golden yellow. Very good for spring olives, March brown. That's that fly coming off. Now to get that golden, what the yellow or all of it, I like to get is to get a ginger neck. This is a Chinese neck, dyed, it's basically dyed, sunbursty or a yellow, which lifts the colour, you get that gold and yellow. If you look at the back of the hackle, if I've done it, yeah, that's lovely, perfect colour for like olives and when you get the sun shining through, you get a brown hue coming off the fly. Uh, that's why a lot of people use like the green moors, this green moors work so well. But this is the, a comparison. The thread could be the colour you want really, but to keep the, the colour bright, I'm using the yellow uni uh, and AO. The hook is the fuller mill hook. This is the ultimate dry fly. It's a size 14. As you can see, it's a barbless hook. They do a black nickel version again. It's a nice, nice hook to use. First thing I do is run the, the wax through to get the get it started. Just short the head length away from the eye. Start the thread. Come down halfway. And come back up. Now, the way I'm going to wind the hackle through the the deer here, so I'm going to start it slightly further down. But even normally say you would start a hackle. It's where I'm going to tie the wing in. So I'm going to wind the hackle up through the the, the deer here. It finishes round about just short in that area. Now the deer here I'm using. This is a, a roe deer. This is basically come from the belly. It's slightly lighter. It's got a nice bit of grey in it, which I'm looking for. Enough to form the wing, just to imagine the wing. So we cut away from the skin, remove any fluff just by twisting the tips. Open out the cut ends, and you can see there's no fluff there. Take that away because you've got to take that away if you're going to stack it, and that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to put it into stack it, tip first, tap on your desk. You can see the tips have all lined up, it's ideal. Now, we tie this forward. So, length you're looking, shank slightly, you could shank length, hook length, it's entirely up to yourself. So, we tie it on the top, just keeping hold of the waist ends, a couple of turns, and then it's loose turns there, and then I just pull, tighten up. Don't worry if it slightly rolls around the hook, we can sort that, we can always bring them up. And then what I do is keep a hold of, don't let the, the waist ends go, bring your thread down about halfway and then you can tear away because it's hollow you see. And if you've got a waxed thread you've got plenty of tension, plenty of grip and you can easily do that. Now this is where you can lift your wing. You can do a turn just in front just to make sure it's on the top. And there we are. End up with your thread at the back. Now I've got one of our hackles. It's a nice hackle here. And you tie it in just now, which is a bit weird, but it's easier to tie it in just now. So what I'm going to do is tie it with the good side, front of the hackle, facing myself, forward of the eye. And then wind your hackle, or wind your thread to the back. Just keeping the hold of the waist end. When you get to this point here, just break it off. Then we're ready for tying or tailing. Now I like to just slightly come round the bend, just slightly. Put some cock de leon. Again, I'm no I like to make sure there's a few fibres there. So the the last. You're looking for a good hook length. Just catch it waist ends towards myself, come over by a turn onto the bare hook. Come underneath the weight of the tail fibres, let them go, pull towards the eye, and then a turn to lock. This will lift, separate the fibres. It's enough to float the fly, and then we trim the waist. 
And what I'm going to do is just lightly take the thread up, just check everything. Looks okay, and I come back down quickly. Now I'm using a just a cream coloured dubbing with this has got a bit of squirrel that blended through it. It's like just a rabbit. Uh, a wee bit of squirrel, just to lightly blend them. If you can blend dubbins, you know, I like to blend a lot of my dubbins, so just lightly dab it on. Now I want to try and get some of the yellow to come through, so keep it quite thin. And work the way up to the, the wing. So we are. Lift wing and the hackle up. Bring your dubbing in front, bring it to the point where you started, and there we are. And I'm just going to tidy the body of the odd fibre along here, so I'm just going to trim away. This creamy yellow coloured body is perfect for any flies coming off at this time. You're in through the year. You can tie this in different sizes, use the same colour, it will still work. The first thing I do Make sure your ring's sitting slightly forward. You want to turn the hackle. And then, a wee bit at a time, work your hackle up. Keeping, bringing the deer, bring it through the deer here. Just a wee pinch of deer here. Do a turn. Tighten into it. Again. And again with the hackle. Just to see what it's like. I'm just going to do another turn. Crush your thread couple of turns. Just going to move the hackle pliers. Now I'm going to leave this kind of like head cat scale style. So I'm just drawing back this. It's important that you wax your thread at this point so you get plenty of grip. Just take your time, come up. Hackle tip broke off but it's folded back. And then we can whip finish. Nice and tight. Throw away thread. And there we go. You will cause the, the odd bit of deer here to come round, but you can basically, it's a hackle as you wind or draw it around, just you can actually pull it back up. But you don't worry, because that's you want the fly to light, that's what it's like. Then just get a wee bit of varnish now, just draw your hackle back just now. Come in here, touch. This is very thin varnish, thin, really right down, and just making sure the eye is clean. Just give it a second, and then we can lift the fibres back up. You miss a dubbing coming through, you can pick them out if you wish. Right, there you go, that's basically a really good fly. To see a couple of colours they want is the, the grey, so we've got a grey coloured hackle wound through, much the same pattern, dubbing's the same, just the colour of the thread's changed, it's grey, uh, so you, uh, grey hackle to a dyed ginger or golden olive, and as I say, you can't really go far wrong with that, uh, it's a great pattern, it's grey. twisted fibre there, just going to draw it out. I could see something there, it's there. Just bring it back up. So, deer here. Here we are. So, simple fly, easy to tie, fill your box really quick. So, I hope you enjoyed that. And that's the basically a golden olive comparison with the hackle wound through. <laughs>